That should be a clue to those of you and Evangelion fans out there. I think you probably got that one. Yep. And otherwise, hi, glad to be here. Thank you for having me in. Let me see if I can pronounce it properly. It's Louisville, right? It's not Louisville. That's a, that's a baseball bat. It's a Louisville slugger. Otherwise, I'm talking to people at Louisville. Is that, that right? I'm getting no reaction whatsoever. No, they're reacting. It's a very low vibe. They're saying Louisville. I'm, Okay, all right, all right, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm working. See, last time I did this, I, had, I was talking in Birmingham. Birmingham. And I said, yeah, Birmingham, that's in Alabama. I am, I am. Yeah, Birmingham. So. so I'm working my way back north. Yes, yes, you are. Uh, you know, I'm kind of doing this so well, because uh, my people are running on the table. They say, well, we'll take my clothes. I'm going to ask you to do this. I have a question. I have to walk up so you can see everybody's clothes. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm not going to blame all this on you, yes, it's a good thing. Okay, fine. All right, so uh, can you start by uh, telling us a little bit about yourself, your history, and all that, all that good jazz? Uh, well, I started out as a child, and um, uh, later on I was actually, you know, um, kind of moved through pubet puberty and pubescence, that kind of thing. It was sort of on my agenda. Actually, I've been doing voice acting. That's the part you want to hear about. Uh, when I was a kid, I started doing a lot of, um, uh, I would memorize and imitate comedy records, like Bill Cosby was very popular when I was young, you know, back in the, during the Punic Wars. And I uh, got into voice acting mostly by doing some uh, radio commercials in Houston to start with. And then I went and worked with AD Vision for a far more while, or AD Films as they became you know? And I did lots of voices for anime. And since then, I've done more television commercial uh, voiceovers. And I have a perfect face for radio, as you can see. <laughs> and I have uh, uh, other radio commercials and so on and so forth. And I started out of the industry for a while, so I'm actually very flattered and grateful. Thank you for having me. And uh, oh, and one quick shout out, if I may say, Courtney. I don't know if you happen to be there. Courtney's been doing all the. She's okay. She's been doing all the number crunching and trying to get the scheduling together. Thank you. Great job. I, I heard she really got in the crunch back over there. So James told me to give a shout out. Thank you, Courtney. If you see Courtney, say thank you. Okay, because right. she's really apparently worked like crazy. She will love everybody. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. Alrighty then. Good deal. Um, that's that's most of what I have been doing as far as um, voice work and so on. I did a lot of things for AGB. I also did some uh, writing and directing for them, and I did. Uh, I wrote eight um, fan subs for Lupin the Third through a group called Odyssey uh, Anthem out of Pullman, Washington. I'm rather pleased with those actually. I uh, had a lot of fun with those groups. And anybody who thinks that fan subs hurt the industry, send them to me, would you please? I'd like to give them a very gentle adjustment with the cricket bat. Uh, it's free market research. What, what is everybody looking at? I mean, you know, that's how somebody would pick something to do otherwise. I, I just can't imagine why uh, fan -sub, without fan subbing, we can have all the energy we have now. It started back in, one friend of mine started back in 1975. was his first time we were actually getting to copies of copies of copies of copies of copies of VHS tapes. Things we can barely see the picture of everybody who's gathered together, spellbound by <laughs> the story that's unfolding on the screen. So, yes, I, I really did enjoy those fan subs. I, mean, I don't even know if they exist anymore. I know they're not being produced anymore. Yeah, so that's okay. It was fun. So, hi, that's me. <laughs> strange voice. I give fun. Oh, I'm like, hi, it was fun. I was like them. I'm sorry, yes, I'm the guy with all the crazy voices. I have strange people living in my head, and they all want to come out and play every once in a while. Join the crowd. This is you as If uh, you have a particular voice, I'll see if it works. Oh, I'm sorry, auto adjusting. Um, camera in there, so if I suddenly move out of frame or something, it tries to, I, I look off the or so I look off the So there you go. I think they want me to play Santa Claus. There you go. Gendo as Santa Claus. Put that one together, boys and girls. Yeah. Santa Claus! <laughs> yeah, that is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Okay, never mind. Anyway. There's a, lot, there's a lot of chuckles. Like I said, we had a pretty good bike. You'd be, be pleasantly pleased, trust me. That's quite all right. I, I appreciate it. I've worked different crowds than this, my belly. Now, back in the old days, down out in the wild west, you know, with the dinosaurs. Now, you come after my stagecoach, man. After the throne, stale pop tarts. Yeah, they're that far back. 
I'm good. She's been around a long time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. There's stuff. There's no time. So, how you doing? Huh? <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good. Yeah. All right. I heard that one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, any questions? Any questions from the crowd for the hands that has done voices from the wrong third and the alien and uh, any other? Well, what were some of the other big ones here? Oh, good heavens! Cutie Honey. I was Grandpa Dombe. Um, Timura. That was a fun one because I got to play the voice of the like blonde stud muffin. I am seeing this. I want you to know. Yes, I am seeing that. I don't have any idea how to react to it, but I am seeing it. It's like, okay. Yes, baby. Cool. All righty then. I had no idea I could inspire such. Dancing. Yes. Yeah, dancing. Dancing, that's the word. That's the word I was looking for again. Um, what was fun with Kimura was that I got, I was voicing the. Um, the second banana, basically, who happened to be this big blonde stud-like type. Now, this was before we had cameras and stuff and pictures on the internet, so when I would get letters or emails, I said, "Do you look like that?" Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. They actually based that. They based that character off of me personally, you know. So, and then came the conventions, and all oh, went away. That's okay. But um, um, the the live action Gamera Guardian of the Universe that came out in '98. Uh, I was the voice of. Doctor, who's it? The girl's father. So that was another one. Um, lots of things. I was reminded of um, Sol Bianca recently, an OVA of Sol Bianca, where I was uh, Batros, and I remembered that one recently because of this maniacal laugh that I had to do. I mean, I was, it was one of those laughs where you know this, he, he's not on the same planet anymore. You know, he's just, he's gone. And I had to do this thing that lasted for 30 or 40 seconds. It's you can't completely... say live You're going to have to do the live no. Oh dear. Okay, well now, that one or Joy Rock? Because in Slayer's The Motion Picture, I was Joy Rock, the demonic frog. Either way, I need some water. Hang on. The trick with Joy Rock is that we tried to do it all in one in one take. If you go on YouTube, they actually have my comment about that. I'm, I'm sitting with Robert Axel on Marvel's man. And um, the voice of Lord Zed, in case you didn't know. And uh, we were talking about doing difficult lines in the booth. And in that one, I actually passed out because I was trying to keep the sustained weird laugh for like 30 or 40 seconds. So the, uh, the thing with um, Batros is it has to start off with that sort of <laughs> Thank you. Oh, by the way, that is a therapist, everybody. That's, that's what it is. That's a therapist. Yes. What? Well, no, you have to stay here. They, they have to get their own help. It'll be all right. They'll be fine. They have each other. So, did I mention I was strange? Did you know that? No, really? For all of your dad. See, the fun thing about this is that I only have this little tiny square down here that is where my face is. If I'm looking here, I can't see down here, which is where my little square is. On the other hand, if I start getting close, it gets really strange. I know I'm not going to be See, I do it. Do you like the audience? I love the audience. <laughs> Well, the fact that your camera blurred in and out, right whenever you started doing that, too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's trying to, to auto-zoom, auto it's very funny. And it's like, oh, I have it, hang on, hang on. It's gonna auto-zoom again, I think, hold on. But there you go. You want candies, little girl? <laughs> See, I can, I can be extra creepy here, and it's safe, because no one knows I'm gonna follow them into the hall and track them to their room or something creepy. <laughs> Here I can just be strange. What was anyway, your yes, I, the girls reaching out for the candy when you did that? <laughs> yes, I know. 
That's okay. I will take virtual guamps. Oh. No! Please, I, I, yeah, there you go. Oh, yes. That's nice. I like that. Thank you. No, I, I, I have to decline on the, I still think there should be like a, a, a big pit of um, pillows, and then you have sort of like tackling dummies, and you put the guest's face on each one, and you have the 30-yard glomp kind of, you know, run, pounce, fall. You know, I, I, was, I was at, uh, I was in Nandesicon in Denver, and I, I got a 30-yard glomp. Thank goodness this wonderful, petite, cat girl dressed type woman, little, otherwise I would have probably fallen over. <laughs> she just got such a head of steam up. <laughs> and it was, wow, memorable. It was, it was full of affection. I think I had a couple of small bruises, which is why they canceled that particular Tilly after that. But, you know, it was, you know, how can you say no to such enthusiasm? It's wonderful. Anyway. Question to anybody. Otherwise, I'll just sit here and ramble, and it might be entertaining, but it might not, you know, talk about what you want to hear. It's quite entertaining, but does anybody have any questions? Anybody?